time for uh, Asia to work together as a family to meet the global challenges, the common challenges. Today's gathering of the Asian leaders here in Bangkok uh, is a showcase and it sends a signal to the international community that Asia is prepared to be united. Quite a long time I had the time. I mean, it's, it's kind of a relaxed tour for the president as well. So uh, uh, not many meetings. Uh, many. So it's very important for countries to talk. Sadika, welcome to Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yotasam. Thailand today, today is real special because uh, we are attending the Asia Cooperation Dialogue, or rather to call in short, it ACD. ACD was inaugurated in June 2002 in Sham province of Thailand, where 18 Asian foreign ministers met together for the first time. The ACD is a continent-wide firm, the first of its kind in Asia. More specifically, the Asia, the ACD, aim to constitute the missing link in Asia by cooperating every Asian country and building an Asian community without duplicating other organizations or creating a block against others. A key principle is to consolidate Asian strengths and fortify Asian competitiveness by maximizing the diversity and the rich resources and evidence in Asia. Currently, the ACD comprises of 34 countries. Today, let me tell you a little bit on the program of the ACD meeting. This is the second Asia Cooperation Dialogue Summit, which is uh, being held in Bangkok, Thailand, at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which is uh, it'll be during the period of October 8 to 10. First, uh, Sunday and Saturday and Sunday were the day of the arrival of delegates. But Monday, Monday is a start off with the member of the set already here, right here in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And they have an opening ceremony of the second ACD summit, uh, which is attended by the invited delegates and guests of Foreign Affairs. And he, at this moment, they will adopt the, the agenda. Following the opening statement of the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand as the host of the second ACD summit, followed with a statement by the Amir of the State of Kuwait as the host of the first ACD summit, the statement by the State uh, by the Minister of State of Foreign Affairs of the United Arab Emirates as ACD chair. And then after that, there'll be one of the important ones is a statement by the heads of the delegates of all the member states. And then after that, there will be a closing ceremony. The closing ceremony by the Prime Minister of Thailand. And that's the end of the ACD meeting, which we are going to see that is it one Asia diverse a strength. We are honored to welcome to Mr. Seik Wanameti, Director General, Information Department, and Spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand. So, 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 so welcome welcome to Thailand today. Yes, thank you. Out here at yes, the Ministry pleasure. of Foreign Affairs. To be on the ground now. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, sir, how to be a good family members among the ACD country? Yes, uh, I think it was clear as of uh, since yesterday when the Thai Prime Minister uh, gave his uh, speech at the opening session of the ACD Connect mm -hmm. Business Forum, which is the first time that uh, the private sector of the ACD member countries uh, have been gathering mm. at an ACD mm. conference, a governmental conference. Mm. And yesterday, mm -hmm. um, the mm -hmm. message was that um, it's time for uh, Asia to work together as a family to meet the global challenges, mm. the common challenges mm. that face our Asian people as a whole. Mm. And the message of the Prime Minister is that we cannot afford to leave anyone behind, mm. um, um, be it within each respective Asian country, uh, because there's a lot of discrepancy, mm. e uh, economic discrepancy mm. um, within each country, um, between the sub-regions of mm. Asia. And so 
uh, the message and the feeling this morning at the leaders meeting now mm. on the 10th of October is that there is a uh, mm. it's timely that we talk about uh, a united Asia and today's gathering of the Asian leaders here in Bangkok uh, is a showcase and it sends a signal to the international community that Asia is prepared to be united. Mm. What was the expression of the member states representative who were here? Yes, uh, uh, this morning <coughs> there were about over 10 leaders who have made their, their um, statements and of course they are now having lunch and then they will continue with mm. the uh, general statements. <coughs> the overall um, uh, sentiment by the leaders is that firstly it's time for Asia to forge cooperation um, uh, to meet the global challenges and to seize the global opportunities mm -hmm. that is facing Asia. Mm -hmm. Secondly, yes. Asia has the potential to um, uh, draw strength from diversity mm -hmm. given the natural resources, given the um, foreign reserves, mm -hmm. uh, given the mm -hmm. uh, size of the mm -hmm. population. Mm -hmm. So the sentiment is that uh, the ACD leaders, they feel that the ACD is the rightful forum mm -hmm. to push ahead with <coughs> the um, uh, United Asia as a family and they are talking about creating um, mm -hmm. as a aspiration creation of an Asia community uh, mm -hmm. by the year or beyond to 2030. Mm. So beyond 2030, that, that will be the future. So yes. uh, uh, do you have any time frame or this oh, is yes. the second time? Yes. Is uh, meeting? Uh, so to implement uh, the vision uh, into um, into realization yeah. in concrete terms. They've of course identified six pillars of cooperation and these six pillars correspond with the um, UN agenda of global mm. sustainable development. Mm. And it's sustainable development that the leaders here feel that mm. that is Asia's strength. That is how Asia can play a uh, global uh, role mm. Mm. in enhancing sustainable development in Asia so that Asia can be resilient can be competitive and can help uh, ignite mm. the global economy mm. and uh, in the six pillars in, in order for it to become concretized um, the each of the uh, key countries or the prime movers mm. will come up with a, uh, a timeline mm. on how to uh, uh, start the process mm. of each pillar mm. and um, they will uh, each country or each prime mover will of course uh, be given perhaps uh, within a year um, to uh, share their uh, pathway on how to the, the, the SOP or the, uh, the workings of the, of the group on how to propel forward the, each pillar. Among the members, they are extremely rich. Yes. <laughs> yes. So how do you manage with that? How do they talk about That's this? right. So I think uh, this morning the sentiment of the Asian leaders is that um, it's to be all inclusive, okay. all inclusive, and to focus on sustainable development, okay. so that there is a, a need to overcome social discrepancy, economic discrepancy, okay. so that the people as a whole in Asia do benefit, do have a better quality of life, uh -huh. um, of that uh -huh. to overcome uh, poverty. So, uh -huh. one of the key um, steps to achieve the. Um, social to address the problem of social economic discrepancy mm. is mm. connectivity mm. once you uh, have the physical connectivity mm. via land mm. uh, sea um, and air mm. that means that would uh, generate the free flow of goods uh, mm. free flow of people okay. people would now know each other uh -huh. uh, better get uh -huh. to know each other's cultures the promotion of tourism asia-wide tourism uh -huh. uh, people to people contact uh -huh. uh, the free flow of goods trades capital um, that would help mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. generate jobs and income and that mm -hmm. was uh, some mm -hmm. of the leaders uh, mm -hmm. referred to the need that through connectivity you generate um, mm -hmm. jobs and income. Mm -hmm. What do we expect for the, the next at the, uh, the UAE? Yes, ah, okay, so uh, the, the general debate is still ongoing. Um, the, next, the next ACD foreign ministers meeting oh, yes. um, will be held uh, in UAE next yeah. year, oh, yes. uh, United Arab Emirates. Uh, as chair of yes. the ACD will uh, host the yeah. foreign ministers meeting mm. and um, they then at the foreign ministers meeting next year they will discuss again um, to follow up on the leaders meeting today on how to further concretize and to follow up 
and to coordinate. And of course, uh, there is also the establishment of the Secretariat, which um, the leaders this afternoon will approve the permanent establishment of the ACD Secretariat in Kuwait, so that the Secretariat can do the coordination. Of all the topics that we talk about, uh, which one more concerned among the member countries, among the state, more concerned and is urgently to be to be. Yes, I think that is uh, the the common feeling. I think the the overall is the to invest to develop the infrastructure, mm. all these mega projects in Asia, mm. because that would promote that would link all the sub regions of Asia. Mm. So yesterday, amongst the private sector, they discussed how to mobilize financial resources for the development of the infrastructure development, the mega projects. Um, and today, many of the leaders did uh, uh, resonate on the need for the urgency. The priority is to focus first on the development of the infrastructure, because that would promote or strengthen connectivity. That would um, address the issues of the missing linkages amongst the uh, linking the sub together. Yeah. Something, yeah, that's right. Oh, yes. okay. So, uh, what about development? Are there any processes yes. or anything? Yes, for the uh, sustainable development, uh, that is uh, a pillar of cooperation that Thailand mm. uh, will be uh, be the prime mover, mm. um, and that is uh, an area that Thailand has presented the uh, sufficiency economy philosophy mm. as a alternative path to achieve sustainable development by looking at Thailand's model. And Thailand is well known, it's well recognized as being a model of uh, achieving sustainable development. And the su sufficiency economy philosophy, that, the, that uh, development path does uh, respond to the 17 goals of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Mm -hmm. So the first morning part already done. What do you have in the afternoon? Okay, in the afternoon, um, the leaders will continue with their statements and then in the after that, the agenda item will be on the private sector mm. participation with the leaders. Mm -hmm. So the private sector will, uh, they've, uh, they've asked uh, Mr. Jack Ma, mm. the, mm. the person who established the uh, Alibaba, mm -hmm. he will represent the private sector of the ACD to present the report on mm. the outcome of the private sector meeting yesterday. And he'll be accompanied by uh, the representatives of the private sector of, of each uh, ACD member country. Mm. We talk about um, Jack Ma. What did he say about Thailand? Uh, to him, we yes, are just yes. like. No, we don't know yet because he hasn't. Uh, he hasn't uh, uh, made his report yet. But uh, uh, so the, in the afternoon, he'll be uh, addressing the the leaders meeting, mm. and then after that, he'll probably have some time to meet with the prime minister. Uh, so can I say that uh, this is the dialogue? The second dialogue that uh, the member states, even far away from from uh, Middle East, or that, yes. looking up for it. Yes, uh, it? Uh, we can um, we can uh, notice and observe mm. the number of international media mm. who are here yes. in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. um, and in the uh, opening session, of course, uh. it was a full house for the for the television media, just the television media uh. that were able to c cover the opening session, and it was a full pack. And a lot of the media were from our fellow Asian countries. Uh, but many said too short time yes, for them short. to be here. Yes, that's right. Yes, uh, too short. So I have a, a little few more minutes for you. Why don't you just uh, tell to the Thai people to tell them that we are in the position of moving up and we are we are the limelight at the moment. Everybody are looking at us. Yes, I think uh, history, history is being made in that 34 Asian leaders are now in Bangkok, united together, uh, discussing issues of Firstly, uh, igniting how to ignite the global economy, um, how to strengthen uh, Asia's competitive, competitiveness, how to build Asia's resilience so that Asia can become uh, a key player in the global economy to shoulder more responsibilities of, of global issues. And Thailand being uh, the host and the chair of the meeting uh, is, has been uh, given the uh, privilege to host this meeting and it's not just a privilege for the Thai government but it's the privilege of the Thai people as a whole and it's the Thai people who are the hosts of this meeting and who are the actual ACD ambassadors. Yeah, we're adding up by thank you so much to Mr. Saif Manameti, Director General, Information Department of, and Spokesperson of Ministry of Foreign Affairs for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. On the occasion that we cover
the second ACD Summit or Asia Cooperation Dialogue, One Asia Diverse Strength. So for this, we also have an opportunity to talk to a few of the media. We want to listen and hearing how do they feel about being in Thailand, how do uh, Thailand is the host country, how do we uh, take care of them and then uh, see what is the expression of those people, those media then. Just follow me then. Thailand today has an opportunity to talk, a light talk with uh, Mr. Harindra Dasanayake. He is a deputy director of media to the president of uh, uh, at the uh, Colombia, uh, Sri Lanka country. Okay, so Yeah. Very welcome to Thailand today and to Thailand. Of course, I'm very happy to be here, and uh, it's the Asia cooperation that brings us. So that's it's very opportune that uh -huh. I'm here, and I came on the sixth actually. Uh huh. And. Uh, and so I am talking to you. Okay, <laughs> great time. So um, tell me, this is your first time here? Actually, I've been transiting through Bangkok, but not stayed for here for here five days. I mean, here for the first time, I'm here for five days now. Mm, is it supposed to be long? Yes, quite a long uh, time. I had the time. I mean, it's, it's kind of a relaxed tour for the president as well. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, not many meetings, uh, so I had the time to roam around the city a little bit uh, and see and compare in my mind with uh, Colombo and how Colombo uh, 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 should one day become like. Uh, mm. So, been a lot of uh, interesting encounters too. Yeah. So, you are looking for a very bright future of ACD? Of course. The the you know, country. I mean, we, you and I have been talking to each other for now for pro probably three minutes, mm -hmm. and you know, 300 or like or uh, around. 500 kids, babies were born just as we were talking in this Asia. So the potential of Asia is that it's huge and it has great potential mm. in harnessing mm. and developing the human resources. Mm. You seem to be a very knowledgeable person and nice to talk to you. Thank Tell you. me about, uh, you seem to know a lot about Thailand actually. Tell me about what you heard about His Majesty, the King of Thailand? Okay, I've heard his name uh -huh. and I heard more interestingly uh -huh. about his philosophy of uh, mm. sufficiency economics. Mm. And mm. I can relate to it very much being a Buddhist myself mm. about the middle path, not going too much there, mm. not lagging ourselves behind. And having mentioned mm. the great potential of Thailand mm. and in the, in that of, within that of Asia, mm -hmm. I think sufficiency is actually a good way to look at the world. I mean, imagine all these kids born in, um, in, in Asia want to be developed in that business-like, business-as-usual yeah. way yeah. as in Europe. Everybody yeah. wants their car, everybody wants their, you know, their house. Yeah. And um, that will not be the kind of development development that we look forward mm. to, and that will uh, you know that will lead us to a lot of problems because the world is a limited place, and we have as human beings we have limits. Great. Last yeah. but not least, how's Thai food to you? <laughs> what is Thai it? food? Oh yes. Uh, well, um, actually, I'm a vegetarian, so oh. good part of Thai food uh. I miss. Uh, but the part, I enjoy, the part I consume is actually quite good and I was warned against um, the board in the plane, they said, my friend said, hey, you are going to Thailand uh, and uh, it, uh, even during this flight, you are not going to get any vegetarian food, but, uh, you know, but things turned out to be uh, a little different uh, and actually Thailand has a lot of, a lot of variety, veg variety <laughs> vegetarian food also. And I heard there is a huge vegetarian festival in the south. Exactly. And it even in happens uh, even, even today. Uh, right. And, uh, and I think it's, it's uh, I mean, if you want Asia's mm -hmm. diversity in a nutshell, mm -hmm. I think Thailand is a good example of it. All right. So, thank you so much, Mr. Jasanayake. Oh, yes. Great thank to you. be here. And then, thank we have you. good time, yes. good fun with you. Please welcome Mr. Gaspar Canela. He is a correspondent and editor of the, of the um, uh, Spain's International News Agency. Swadika. Swadika. Thank you very much to come and talk to us about um, everything. 
So I would love to start off with uh, uh, Spain. It's far away from Asia, mm -hmm. but you're still interested to know about Asia. Um, so you're attending the ACD this time, coverage the, uh, the ACD this time. Uh, with, with what reason? Uh, well, we have in Bangkok our regional bureau uh -huh. and we cover uh, all of uh, Southeast Asia. So uh -huh. anything happening in, in Bangkok uh -huh. and if it is important for Asia, uh -huh. it is important for us. Uh -huh. Even uh -huh. Spain is very far, but yeah. Asia and Southeast Asia is becoming more and more important. Uh -huh. That means the people of uh, Spain like to know about Asian people, Asian country. Do they visit here? Yeah, actually now uh, I can't hear many people speaking Spanish in Bangkok uh -huh. and in Thailand. Yes. And I, I think in the recent few years mm. we have more and more Spanish people visiting mm. in Thailand mm. and more interested mm. in they, Thailand. They, they like Thailand? Yeah, they love it. Uh -huh. They love the, the beach, the temples, uh -huh. the food, uh -huh. the culture. Uh, it's very attractive for them. They come all the way to Spain, mm. uh, to yeah. Thailand. So. Yeah, they like it. Uh, thank you very much. Now today, especially these three days, uh, we are uh, we are attending. We are covering the ACD mm -hmm. as a media. So, what do you think about the future of the of the cooperation this time? In Asia, in your own uh, prime, in your opinion. Uh, well, mm -hmm. I think this dialogue. there is a lot of to talk in mm -hmm. in Asia, uh -huh. and and there are many problems to solve. Uh -huh. uh, mostly uh, inequality uh -huh. um, and poverty and uh, tension in South China Sea. Uh -huh. So it's very important for countries to talk. Uh -huh. But if you compare to Middle East, uh -huh. I mean, the uh -huh. situation is much better in this part of the world. Uh -huh. This part of the world? Yeah, like uh -huh. uh, ah, it's Asia in? than uh -huh. Middle East. Uh -huh. But still, I mean, uh, it's good that governments and, and prime ministers and presidents talk. Mm. and have a common agenda, mm. I think. Mm. So it can be called, is a historical? Can you call that? It's a historical dialogue, historical meeting, though it is the second time. Uh, well, I wouldn't say historical, actually. I would say ASEAN meetings are more efficient and they, uh, they attract more leaders than mm. this meeting. Mm. But it's always an opportunity mm. for uh, high officials and politicians uh, to and, and to talk, you uh, know. So uh, we don't know uh, yet. Uh, Today we'll come up with an agreement, with a, uh, a document. Uh, so we will see. Mm. For me, because, um, well, they are from Arab countries, yeah. don't ask Asia, but they are uh, from uh, Sri Lanka, of, or you know, each one has their mm -hmm. own uh, cultural background differently. Do you think that they can talk in, in the Como language, in the, in the mutual language? Yeah, they With can. The, I mean, nowadays uh, we are in the 21st century, uh, so everyone can speak English or uh, they have interpreter, uh, and we know each other very well, oh, and then nice. we get news in, in the uh, instantly. So uh, uh, nowadays people are very connected. Uh -huh. So I think that now it's easier to talk. Uh, How about the food? Well, I love Thai food. Oh, yeah. yeah. Spicy food uh -huh. and Isan food, Komujang, uh Kenka, -huh. Wang Kai, Somtam. Yeah. Okay. Will you say something about Thailand in your language? Your impression of Thailand in your language, in Spanish? In Spanish. Vale. Bueno, Tailandia todavía tiene mucho eh, camino que recorrer. Eh, la democracia no es fácil, pero yo creo que algún día llegará. What does it mean? I said that the, still there is a long way. Uh -huh. uh, democracy is not going to be easy for Thailand, uh -huh. but I think you are going, you are going to get there. Okay so. then, right? Thank you so much. And Thank you. Ka. Kapun ka. Kapun ka. <laughs> We are ending up our program by the thanks to Mr. Sek Vanameti, Director General, Information Department and Spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the media who gave us the wholeheartedly expression on the 
uh, way he's coming to cover that second ACD Summit Asia Corporation Dialogue. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusma Yotasmut. Hope to see you again next time. Sadika.